Welcome everybody, we've got a Group B matchup for you here. It's going to be Poor Choices and Ebony Scarface, both looking good in Group B, going head to head. Looking to see who can come out here on top in Group B. That is still very much up in the air. Nameplate's now on. We do recognize the well-known Choices Red PH. Ebony, trying to keep his distance here. Has been doing all of those same shenanigans with the violent change. Choice is putting down some early aggression. Ebony's got to stay away from this hyper kick with the tiger strength, though. He's doing a fairly good job. Choices moves back in. He did get one hit down. Choices deciding to block the entrance to Scarface's base. And he's just forced to continue trying to dodge that here in the open. If he goes on the escalator, he's almost guaranteed to take four damage. Unless he has a shield that can block it. But so far, he has not chosen to use a shield to block this. He's going on the escalator. I guess choices gave him the leeway to do so. Gets a little bit more aura. Picks up a yellow. He's going to violent change. So same shenanigans we've seen versus everybody else. We'll have to see how choices responds here. Recall goes out for him. Choice has a really far away spawn, too, which is kind of a pain. Ebony going to be relying on these recalls to see what he can get here, because so far he's not chosen to block that hyper kick, so maybe he's holding on to the flash hole. Reincarnation will connect. Ebony just continuing to circle, not attempting to block. He's going to take for it. I told you, if he went up the staircase while Poor Choices was there, he would get hit. And another one on top of the capsules here. Ebony just doesn't seem to have an answer for this yet. When you play some of these passive arsenals and you don't get the right shield for it, things can work against you. Trades two for three, but Scarface already on the losing end of this. He's got two shields now, and neither one of them seem to be able to deal with this hyper kick. Choice is pounding him into the ground right now with hyper kick. I think there's a lot of Group B that's going to be enjoying seeing this right now. There goes the Fortress. But he is down to two health. He's got to get through like six sets of violent changes right now. Choice is only going to pick up two capsules. He's still got a shield, still got tiger strength. He has taken a fair bit of damage at this point. But Ebony could still go for the you know violent change win. Choices has to find another attack. Uh, right now, he's doing Ebony's job for him. He's burning through the arsenal. Ebony, after searching so hard for those shields, now had three. Has to overwrite one. Has a yellow in hand. Could be a relearn. Looks like he's still holding on to the reincarnation. We do see an attack in Choice's hand now. It looks like he is moving back in. And he will break the fortress with an R backflow. Now, can Ebony pull off that m move where he usually does? It depends on how kind the arsenal is to him this time. You know, it's been good to him other times. We'll see if he gets that violent change. Because his signature move has been erasing everybody's cap uh, abilities when they come at him. And then the violent change when they return to base. But that is not... Apparently how it's going to turn out. And they trade Rian for Rian. The timing. The timing does not work out for Ebony in that one. He's not able to pop it as Choices returns back to his base, even though it's a long haul. And uh, the timing on throwing his own reincarnation, doing it at the exact same moment that Choices did, basically, guarantees that they trade, and he did not have enough health to survive a trade. 
So that is a 1-0 lead for choices. Looks like Panorama and Highway were banned. They'll move to City. We might skip ahead until this actually begins. Zanks is finishing himself off here. It looks like Choices might be throwing out some attacks there. Ebony dodging. Can't hear or see what's going on over there quite yet. Blazing Bullets. Looks like he's breaking trash over there, hoping to catch Ebony. Ebony throws out a reincarnation. I can't tell if that was an airborne Choices that it was thrown at or... He's trying to break some trash of his own. Two reds, a purple and a yellow in hand. Throws out a reincarnation. He is going to connect onto choices with that one. Turbulence going to take away one of the yellows. Could be cutting off some of the recalls that Ebony has been 100% reliant on so far. There goes some more reincarnations out. Choices dodges them back to back. Good dodging by him. He's still somewhat of a disadvantage. Ebony's got three attacks and a blue. He's going to eat that Rian. Doesn't land his own lightning sword, though. He's going to lose it to the Iron Skin, in fact. Ebony with a lot more momentum right now. Choice is still shieldless. We don't get to see him dodge the reincarnations, but we don't see any damage land, so he must have done so. Ebony takes a tumble off the map. He's going to throw out some more reincarnations. Still doesn't hit choices. Can't control the camera for you this time, folks. So we see what we see. Immediate armoros for the heat. You know, some serendipity comes in there. Some good moves for him. Having the armoros ready for the heat. Glacial Wall. Going to be broken immediately. Psycho Burst comes out. It's an interesting choice. Not your average poor choices attack. Four attacks in hand. Dodging reincarnations. I can't see him make these dodges because we've only been following Ebony for a very long time. Uh, but he has made several back-to-back -back double reincarnation dodges. Has been very good. See Ebony Tiger strengthening up once again. Looks like he used a recall. I have to see if that recall gives him back anything particularly useful. Means he's running three school. Tiger Strength, Rian, and Recall. Psycho Burst going to break the Iron Skin. Random Damage Excalibur hits for zero. That one will hit for six as Ebony tries to follow up with the Hyper Kick. Putting poor choices at a good health lead now. Trades three for two. Choices can eat that damage. Ebony can't afford to. Already at a deficit. Throws on the Tiger Strength. Going to try and hit that five damage reincarnation. Does not connect, but he takes another bullet of fire. That hurts an arc. I'm still having trouble seeing the angle on that. I think it's just bullet. And he keeps trading Ebony, trying to rely on the cartwheeling over this bullet of fire, is struggling with it. Hits for five onto Choices, though, so he does trade back. Choices can take another five damage reincarnation, though. Ebony can't take another anything, unless it's a zero damage Excalibur. He's got him down in the firing line, going to continue throwing bullets of fire. See if he can't catch Ebony with one. Almost gets him to cartwheel off the map. Ebony trying to use that tiger strength. 
Throws out two more. Uh, we don't see how Choices manages it, but he doesn't take any damage. Sounds like a fortress is what he's using over there. Taking advantage of the high ground, though that is Ebony's spawn, Choices is taking command of it, pushed him out. Ebony knows he can't win the melee fight against that Excalibur, and so he is playing down below, and this is just not a good place for him. He can't pick up capsules. He has no shield. Choices has height, and he has cover. And he has a shield. Ebony is just a fish in a barrel at this point. Albeit a fish that can fire back. Okay, it looks like that is an arc. I can't tell. We saw from Choice's perspective for like half a second. And that last one will connect. And that's a 2-0 lead for some poor Choices. Able to keep Ebony off his capsules. Able to turbulence some of the shenanigans, and Ebony is not able to get into his recall violent change loop like usual. Very good play for some poor choices so far. And our game three will be on Refinery. So we skip ahead for this. Zanx is finishing himself off. Ebony now with the yellow and the purple. Picks up a red. And poor choices looks like he is already on the attack. And Ebony's having none of it. Takes off. Choices gets ice sorted. And quantum decayed. Takes the damage off the map as well. So five damage for that. As he tried to cartwheel that gap and got the quantum decay mid leap. Oh, that won't quite connect. Ebony is going to take the tumble. That Quantum Decay was such an odd decision. He has himself down. Now he's got the boost mines. But it really didn't hamper choices that much. He went back to base and he was immediately back on the offensive. And Ebony is now running around the map trying to get his aura back so that he can start this violent change recall loop. Choices also has a diabolical trick. I think that's the second capsule he's taken from him. Putting the pressure on. And he's going to use another Quantum Decay. Now, I'm left wondering how healthy is his arsenal for Aura. You know, I can't see the exact builds because we haven't watched any videos from his perspective. But after two Quantum Decays and he's at 10 capsules, like, that's going to be cutting it close on whether or not he makes it to recall levels and not to mention he might die before he gets there choice is just the absolute savage right now with the will of the wisp on top of his capsules ebony with no shield and almost no chance at winning this game here choice is looking to finish this with a 3-0 has shown that by putting pressure down you can take down ebony's pop decks and that's a 3-0 win for some poor choices in Group B.